This is the Ball River bobsleigh. So what we've got here is a track which we've put a, a few balls in the bottom. And these are going to provide a ball bearing effect. So you're probably familiar with circular ball bearings uh, like this one. And as it rotates, the inner moves twice as far as the balls do. Which is interesting because a similar thing happens in a linear ball bearing. When I move my hand across these marbles here, you'll see they are moving as I move my hand only half as far as my hand is moving. And that's a very important effect because we're going to see that on the main track. Now we've got a couple of vehicles to go down the track uh, here. So Matt, what's your vehicle? All right, so what we have here is a simple soda bottle, which we're using as a pressure vessel. It's got a simple car tire valve on it to allow us to put the pressure in, and a small opening on the end to allow it out in the form of a rocket jet. Uh, in the bottom, we have a small weight just to keep it the right way up when it's going along the track. And of course, we have its pilot. Okay, and here's an alternative kind of vehicle using uh, a propeller, a motor and some batteries and of course a pilot. And here we use the batteries as a weight to make sure the centre of gravity is right, so this will stay, stay the right way up. And um, we're going to have a race with these, see which one works the best. So Matt, charge some pressure into your rocket and we'll see who's got the best vehicle. There you go, that should do it. So. Let's go to the back of the track here and see what we get. Okay, count down then. Three, two, one, go! <laughs> well, I think you would have won, Matt, but you lost your pilot. <laughs> yes, unfortunately, we lost the pilot. Uh, the Bull River bobsleigh, great for races.